Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but she will be back later today or tomorrow, I promise. So we're gonna do a couple videos talking about the tech industry. We're gonna do a follow-up on the TikTok story that everybody was like, oh, TikTok will be fine because you know Trump was gonna ban it too and that worked out. Well, now a lot of media outlets are saying that is not gonna be the case, that TikTok might not be fine that this might be it because apparently ByteDance does not want to dance with the Biden administration and it might be game over for TikTok. Um, and uh, it's really interesting to hear this coming from Slate that uh, Joe Biden's TikTok crackdown might not work out for him. Uh, and here we've got uh, the information, TikTok sale likely to be rejected by China. Again, we don't know where they're at with it exactly, but apparently, uh, China's like, yeah, we don't have to, we don't have to play by your rules. You know, <laughs> it's like, if they're not going to play by the administration's rules on that, then what's actually going on with TikTok? What are they actually mining? You know, I don't know. Let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 298, almost 300,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we are on TikTok. We don't use it very much. I did not want to put my eggs into a basket that potentially had a broken handle. Uh, we started a Clownfish Studios TikTok account a couple of years ago, mostly for gaming content and art content. And I haven't really been using it very much because I'm like, I don't think it's going to be around much longer. I really don't. So I'm like, I'm not going to waste more time putting content over there if the rug is going to be pulled out from underneath us. And frankly, it's incredibly hard to monetize TikTok. We did a video yesterday talking about the situation and uh, the guy who was in charge of their creators fund basically said it was a sham. Said we did not give out two billion dollars, and uh, we were basically giving people pennies on the dollar or pennies on the uh, thousand views. Like if you were lucky, you might make a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks a month, or something like that. But some arbitrary number. And the only reason they did it was to try to keep people away from YouTube and, and Facebook. And now it, do it just doesn't really matter. And a lot of companies now. Um, I'm reading are pulling back on their TikTok ad spend. So that's going to be even less money for them because they're they're like, we don't know what's going to happen. It's been banned on government devices. It's been banned on some college campuses and uh, nobody seems to know what's going on with it. But I think it's so funny that there's not nearly the outrage and backlash toward uh, Joe Biden, you know, banning the app or potentially banning the app as there was when Trump was going to ban it. And it's the exact same reasons you know, that it's potentially spyware. And, uh, you know, we've have strained relationships with uh, the CCP at this point. So, you know, it's probably not a good idea to have this installed on a whole bunch of cell phones, which are also manufactured in China. And we don't know what's up with that. But anyway, uh, let's talk about this. Coming from the information, TikTok sale likely to be rejected by China. Uh, the Chinese government is likely to oppose any attempt by the Biden administration to force TikTok's Chinese shareholders to sell their stakes in the hugely popular app, said China-based lawyers and investors, saying the stage for a protracted standoff between Beijing and Washington over the future of TikTok. Who the hell cares? It's just a social media app, right? Or is it? Or is it? Or is it something more? You know, it's funny because China's version of TikTok is useful. Ours is useful for turning... Gen Z into morons, you know, <laughs> and having them all think that they're neurodivergent with 55 different genders and uh, having them question uh, science. But uh, their TikTok is actually useful. Go figure. Can't imagine why. Can't imagine why uh, they would push for that kind of content on, on ours. Uh, why would China agree? Would you agree if you were in charge of Beijing, said one Chinese tech founder who added that Beijing would almost certainly oppose the sale of TikTok to a non-Chinese owner? Uh, meanwhile, there were signs that the administration's sale demand could hurt TikTok's business momentum. San Diego-based marketing consultant Kevin Simonson uh, said several advertisers, he, yeah, here it is, said several advertisers he works with are opting against increasing their ad spend on TikTok while the situation plays out. Again, a lot of companies pulling back on their ad spend anyway because of the SVB crash. And they're all worried about spending money and they're doubly worried about TikTok. I mean, TikTok was making all kinds of bank on advertising. But now I got to wonder if you're advertising on TikTok and they were faking it with a creator fund, are they faking the ad numbers too? You know, are they scamming advertisers too and then kicking that money over to Beijing? They might be. 
Yeah, we all know what the hell is going on. TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, one of the most valuable private tech firms in the world, is, con is controlled by its founder through super voting shares he owns, although the Chinese government also has a stake in it. Um, yeah, so they've got major shareholders, include global investors, et cetera, et cetera. They put $8 billion into the company. U.S. officials worried about the security of the U.S. user data have told TikTok in recent days it needs to rid itself of Chinese ownership or it will face a ban. Uh, Beijing criticized the Biden administration's move, according to domestic media reports. Uh, a, spokesperson, a spokesperson for China's foreign ministry said on Thursday that the U.S. should stop suppressing private businesses and should not use data security as an excuse to do so. Standoff ensures protracted uncertainty over the fate of TikTok, which over the past few years has upended the social media landscape globally. Uh, it's incredibly popular. Yes. And I mean, how God, this is like a plot, the plot of like a James Bond movie. Like, you know, if you're if your enemy is going to infiltrate your culture or whatever, your perceived enemy, like they're going to use social media or something or uh, the news control the news or something. Right. Uh, remember how everybody was like, oh, my God, you know, Russian disinformation with RT.com and all that. Uh, now, though, many advertisers are taking a wait and see approach. So a chief strategy officer at IMGN Media, Imagine Media. Um, they said that they're a digital media company focused on Gen Z audiences. Malin said that while clients are following the situation closely, many have reached out to discuss it with, I guess it's Imagine. None of them have so far pulled back on TikTok ads. I've heard from other sources that they're going to. Uh, most of the brands we work with are trying to reach the audience there. And there really aren't a lot of other options to reach that audience. Uh, they'll all come over to YouTube and they'll pollute YouTube. TikTok is playing down the situation to advertisers, which together spent around $10 billion on TikTok in 2022. On Thursday, a TikTok representative said in a meeting with an ad agency that they personally didn't believe a ban or spinoff of the company would happen, according to a person who attended the meeting. Now, here's the thing. Even Slate is like, it's probably game over for TikTok. Um Slate said Joe Biden's TikTok crackdown might not work out for him. There's a problem with the Chinese app, but forcing a sale may not solve it. And they talk about how Trump was going to ban it. Uh, it wasn't unreasonable for Trump. Well, my God, wait, is this right? Is this Slate? So it wasn't unreasonable for Trump to seize upon worries and entertain the prospects of either banning TikTok from app stores or forcing it under domestic corporate control. Uh, he had a model in U.S. ally India, which banned the app nationwide in 2020, following its military clashes with China. The problem was the deal he negotiated by September to keep TikTok operating in the U.S. barely addressed critics' legitimate concerns over the app. That wasn't the problem. The problem was everybody screamed and yelled and said he was uh, a racist and a misogynist because marginalized people need TikTok or something for affirmation. I, I don't know what it was. Um, they said that it was another plank for his anti-China xenophobia. Um, so, yeah, and they, they left it go. So at first, it didn't seem like Joe Biden would be as TikTok hostile as, as his predecessor, though he banned the use of the app on staffers' phones during his 2020 campaign. He's since courted TikTok influencers in the Oval Office, and his staffers have formulated savvy plans to promote the administration on the platform. God, this is like when they played Animal Crossing. <laughs> Namely, getting outsiders to film and post dispatches from their White House visits. Oh, my God. Biden also entered the White House determined to continue Trump's tough on China agenda in which TikTok was already wrapped up. Uh, to that effect, the current is so they're already like, well, it's not really his fault. He tried. He's not TikTok hostile. <sighs> To that effect, the current administration has firmed up anti-China multinational alliances, imposed business and trade restrictions, shot down suspicious-looking balloons, but the government didn't suggest any major scrutiny of TikTok until last September. Now, it reached a preliminary security deal with the app that didn't require it to change corporate ownership, seeing the pressure from state lawmakers and members of Congress is pushing Biden reluctantly in a more forceful direction on TikTok egging him on with accusations of being soft on China. Do you think Joe Biden actually knows what TikTok is? I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think Joe Biden actually knows what TikTok is? The guy's like 80 some years old. Um, they said there's also the fact that more TikTok misdeeds have been uncovered since Donald Trump left, left off. So they're basically just making excuses 
They're like, Donald Trump was wrong and wanting to ban TikTok. Joe Biden was trying to be more accommodating. But, you know, some stuff have, has come out since then. You know, it's come out since then. That's why he's going to ban it. God. Uh, so what's Biden's actual game here? He doesn't have one. He does what he's told. Uh, which exact problem does he hope to solve by threatening a TikTok expulsion? Uh, for one, it's not clear what a bite dance sale would even accomplish should one go through. So they have uh, senators. They said ByteDance holds on to TikTok and Biden agrees to ban the app. The U.S. would risk a significant public image issue. We can't have the kids getting all angry that we took their TikToks away. For one, plenty of tech savvy critics claim a TikTok ban would contradict American principles of free speech and media independence. Um, I, I personally, I said in the video yesterday, I, I am not real comfortable with the government like seizing control or uh, forcing a sale of an app, but if they have legitimate concerns that it is indeed being used to spy on Americans, then that would give them the ability to do it, right? Um, I said it would it would be like other countries like uh, uh, Afghanistan, Iran, and Azerbaijan in banning use. India banned it. Bangladesh banned it. The youths really, really love TikTok. The youths. Far from just copying memes and dances, they also tend to get their news on the app and organize social campaigns. Oh my God, we can't we can't stop the Utes from from organizing social campaigns on the spyware app. Biden's strange ability to mobilize younger voters helped. Okay, this is what it's about. Biden's strange ability to mobilize younger voters helped to achieve Democratic electoral successes. No, um, Biden just wasn't Trump and he was there. That's that's basically all it took. Like you could have run a potato and and the Utes would have voted for for it. <laughs> you know? um, I'm just saying this is a whole nother issue. But right. So basically they're telling Biden not to ban it because it's because people aren't going to vote for him if he bans TikTok. The, the Utes aren't going to vote for him. The knuckle for Biden here is that a TikTok crackdown would be ideally or would ideally engender a broader reimagining of the social media landscape. Well, hey, um, Elon Musk already threw a threw a wrench into that, didn't he? Surveillance, data collection, lack of privacy, guardrails, uh, addictive feeds, lax platform content oversight, and misinformation campaigns are not exclusive to TikTok. Many of these were American social media innovations. <laughs> if Biden wanted to make a convincing example of TikTok's worst qualities, observers could fairly argue he should do the same when it comes to Facebook, Snapchat, or YouTube. Move on TikTok, whether it takes the form of a forced ByteDance sell-off or a new business arrangement that keeps ByteDance in the picture, would inadvertently and undoubtedly advance calls to take firmer stances toward the cy cybersecurity and data policies of older social networks, but kiss a kiss goodbye to U.S. TikTok altogether would encourage accusations of hypocrisy and stain Biden's rep among the Utes his coalition needs. There's no easy path here. Something has to be done. Actually, what I am afraid of happening is if they put major restrictions on TikTok, they'll be like, for the safety and security of America, we're going to reorganize into the first galactic empire. No, actually, for the safety and security of Americans, we're going to impose more regulations on publicly traded social media companies. That means that you'll be able to say less on Facebook. You'll be able to say less on these other apps. And then uh, something that's privately owned like Twitter, mm, I don't know, guys, maybe we'll just kind of, you know, force Elon Musk to play ball or, you know, he's going to have to shut it down, you know, because because it does, it does kind of set dangerous. This is a sticky situation because what's going to happen is, Again, if this is a political thing, being like, well, TikTok is where all the Democratic Utes are. Well, and if we got to shut that down, then we're going to we're going to take a scalp from the other side, too. And we'll, we'll see what we can do to Twitter. We'll see what we can do to, you know, uh, curtail uh, potentially problematic speech on some of these other platforms. Now is a really good time to build your own website. I just want to put that out there because I think all this stuff is going to implode here real soon. I think it's going to be a domino effect. I don't know which way it's going to go. I don't know if it's just financial or um you know having free speech just completely obliterated, but I think this is going to be used as cuz a lot of people will be like, "Hey, oh yeah, I I agree you should get rid of the Chinese spyware," right? And that sets a precedent and then the, the other dominoes fall. And it's like, "Well, while we're at it, let's get rid of anything we deem to be hate speech or uh, anything we deem to be misinformation." I mean, remember at YouTube 
they just had their CEO step down after years and years and years of being there. And the person that's going to replace her, I believe, is all on board with censorship. You know, I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I think I think there's more going on here than just uh, TikTok being shut down. Anyway, the best way forward for Biden then maybe to have a solid detailed plan in place as su- as his administration persists in bite dance talks. Uh, the sell off threat is real. He should say much more to that effect and outline exactly what he'll do should ByteDance either accept or reject those terms. Uh, should he be serious about taking ByteDance to the cleaners? And they're not going to accept his offer, apparently. Or that's that's word in the street. He should inform the public well in advance what future business arrangements he plans for TikTok's American ownership, blah, 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 blah. Here's, here's their point. If he decides to kick out the app, well, let's hope he still has good relationships with TikTok stars because he might need them to keep their angry stands at bay. The point is of this article on Slate is if Joe Biden does ban TikTok, kiss the young voters goodbye. So it's preferable to have Chinese spyware on everybody's phones, I guess, to make sure that you uh, get those votes in 2024 or the Democrats get the votes in 2024. I think Biden will probably turn to dust by then. I don't know who's running next year. Um, you know what I'm saying? So this, I don't know, guys. I don't know. This looks like it might be the end of the line, though, because uh, it's saying that, that ByteDance isn't going to play ball with the Biden administration. Um, and if it's not Biden that bans it, I, I can almost guarantee you, especially if DeSantis winds up winning next year, that it, it's, it's going to be done. One way or the other, because this guy, DeSantis, absolutely positively would would ban this thing in a heartbeat. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, We'll talk later.